Nice to be back uh, in the States. Yeah, definitely. i um, been away for four and a half years in Scotland and really enjoyed it over there. It was a great kind of challenge and um, my wife and I enjoyed life over there, but, you know, always from the States, so we're happy to be back. Bruce said that playing in Scotland probably toughens you up as a player. It was it a hard experience up there? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was good. I mean, it definitely hardens you as a player. I think. I think the uh, the style of play is a little different over there. It's it's more direct, a little bit more physical. But I enjoyed it. It helped me grow as a player a lot because I was I was 23 when I left. Uh, so, d did you live here growing up at any point? Um, here specifically, I, I think. Just like Boston area, just with, like with your dad and everything, playing for the Revs. Yeah, I think uh, Virginia was always kind of our home base, but I came up with my mom in the summers and kind of when we were off of school and everything. So we'd probably live here from June to August or so. So, what's your relationship like with Bruce? And uh, like, what what advice or uh, heads up could your dad give you about uh, playing playing for him? No, just that you know how successful he's been as a coach. Um, you know his long history. Um, just in U.S. soccer is, is tremendous, so it's you know it's just a privilege to be working with them and, and get the opportunity to work with a, a great team like this. And to come back during a stretch run for a team that's contending to, to win it all must be must be nice. Yeah, no, I'm extremely grateful, and um, you know the the talent that's out here, the players. Uh, this is a very strong team, and obviously they're doing very well in the league. So, um, like I said, it's a privilege to kind of join up and uh, and help the team in any way I can. What's Ian Hark's MLS version 2.0 like? <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out, but um, I'm hoping that, you know, just added more quality to myself as a player. I think, like I said, I was just out of college last time with DC United. Um, so spent two years in the league and really enjoyed it. Um, but, I, I, you know, I've grown a lot, I've matured a lot as a player. Um, so hopefully I think through the game a little bit more. Um, box to box midfielder and, you know, want to bring energy, want to bring quality in the final third. Why in particular have you developed during that time there? Um, I think it was a little bit of a change, just the demands of the game in terms of physically what you had to do over in Scotland. So that was a little bit of a, an adjustment, but added that in quickly because you have, you have to get up the speed or you get left behind. And uh, But that, I think the speed, the playing forward quickly and, and try, like I said, trying to join up in the attack, but just on both ends of the pitch. And what's Bruce said to you about what the role he feels you can play the rest of the season? Yeah, he spoke to me in a little bit. He just, he, he said, you know, obviously the team is... Uh, like I said before, very good players. Um, they've been doing so well this year, so I'm hoping to add in anything I can just to help the group. But he said, you know, hopefully helping in midfield and um, yeah, and pushing on with the group. Is it surreal being here? Yeah, it is a little bit, especially just with how much time um, you know he spent before, and now it's kind of coming full circle. So it's it's great to be back, though. Yeah, what went into the decision to come back? Did you were you tempted to stay over there? Yeah, no, definitely. I think uh, I was looking at all options. Um, really enjoyed my time in Scotland, so I didn't know if there was going to be other teams there. Um, you know, but I came to the end of my contract and felt like I had done everything for I could with Dundee United, and they treated me so well, and it was a great team. And um, I was just ready to, to move back and um, yeah, try and uh, pursue something here. Time in global soccer, we're going to have a tournament with two full leagues and 47 clubs in one month. Uh, just your thoughts on participating in that and how it could feel to be part of history. Yeah, no, it's tremendous to kind of be part of the first, you know, one, I didn't know too much about the League's Cup coming into it, but obviously uh, getting the explanations off it, I think it's a great idea. It's obviously going to lift both leagues, uh, Liga MX and MLS, um, and there's tremendous players on both sides. Yep, uh, looking forward in a few years, we have the World Cup coming in 2026, so uh, how would you assess the current moment for North American soccer? I think it's uh, grown exponentially. I think both on the fan base and obviously on the player side, you can see you know how much uh, how many players are playing abroad and in and, and Europe and doing well, but also the players coming through MLS that are, are pushing for the national team, and you can see the success that they've just had um, and doing well right now in Gold Cup. So uh, I think it's full of confidence, and the, the U.S. is moving forward. Yep, um, and then League's Cup is the fastest way the winner gets uh, to qualify automatically for Champions League. Uh, how do you feel that will up the, up the stakes for the 47 clubs competing? Yeah, it's going to be the, a massive difference just between a couple games between leagues and, and then out of the, adding that competitive nature. Everyone was going to want to um, compete and qualify for, for Champions League, and that's, that's huge. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay.